Let's go to the shipwreck world. How does that sound? This, oh, is there a dinosaur there, Matt? No, but there's this thing. That's close what? enough to a dinosaur, They right? call it shipwrecks, which is a pun, and they don't make it a dinosaur level? No, it's a platypus. They could have done a dinosaur a, thing. A Rex? It's because his name Rex is Rex. Is... <sighs> it's a platypus named Rex. That's that's disappointing. Hey, just 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 take your mind off that. Just focus on the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef. Look at this. It's the a water looks spot nice. for a swim. Yeah, I like the great. water. It's beautiful not, water. Not the pond water, the ocean water. The pond water looks a little. Mm. Yeah, it's a little. Eh. But there we are. There's Ty, our friend. It's very dark. There's got to be at least one dinosaur at in this level. All right, we'll see, Ryan. If I remember correctly, there's some characters that are pretty uh, atrocious, kind of like a dinosaur. Like, like a little scary, if you get what I'm saying. Are platypi, like, are they known to be Australian? I have no idea. Is that, is that the plural? Is it platypi? I don't, that's what I, that's what I just said. Because it's octopus and octopi, so platypus and platypi would make sense, right? Yeah. Okay. It wouldn't make sense to say platypuses. That's true. It sounds weird. Or maybe platypuses. it's just, maybe it's already the plural form, platypus. Look at that, look, look at that gaggle of platypus. <laughs> look at that gaggle of platypussy. What the fuck is going on with his brow? He's got a pressy. You see, his brow is like popping up and down. Oh shit! These are the aqua rings. That means I can I can throw swim with them. Yep, I throw them through water. It's my regular boomerangs don't work in water. So. Oh, I thought you were gonna use them as like propellers in the water. No, I wish. Yo, Why didn't they ask us to make this game? <laughs> I know we could have put dinosaurs and like propellers and shit. It's like on the baseline, it's a great game, but. I think if they had us on the creative team, could have it could have a little better, yeah. It it could have beat Crash Bandicoot. Oh, 100%. This game is essentially the better Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> it, it well, it's almost the better Crash Bandicoot, but if we were on the production team, it would have been the best Crash Bandicoot. Exactly. Even though Crash Bandicoot the first three games were more on linear levels that dealt with platforming. This also has this <sighs> See, look, I'm up on a platform. I'm platforming right now. Yeah. Got the Aqua Rangs. Re Rex is a big testament to this game because he's the first African American character to be ported into a PlayStation game. <laughs> it's the first African American character in any PlayStation game. That's progress. God, dude, I wish that we had a pool around us like this. I wish our apartment complex had a pool. It doesn't. All it has is a little dinky hot tub. It's not even hot. No, it's, it's like it's lukewarm. like 70 degrees. It's lukewarm at best on a good day. And I guess it's, you know it's from those like old people or just, just assholes that probably only went into it once. They're like, this is just ridiculously hot. How this is just, how do they expect anyone to be able to get into this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, have to have a lawsuit if you don't turn it down because this could, this could have a heart attack situation. She dips her little shriveled raisin toes in. Cheryl, I can't get in this. They're trying to kill somebody. You know, old people are all dramatic like that. Hot tub is meant for pe is not meant for people with high blood pressure. What the fuck is this? That's giving me high blood pressure. I hate that character. It's hot. Like the rest of the character models are fine. Like look at Ty, he looks good. Like he looks all right. I like him. But you can fuck the seahorse and it won't get pregnant. Oh, that's true cuz only the males get pregnant. Yep. Fun fact about seahorses, in case you didn't know that for some reason. I think most people know that by now. Yeah. It's only... one of those facts that, uh, you know, one of those facts, we, we've talked about this, one of those facts that you say to sound smart, but everyone knows and they have to pretend that they didn't know it. Like, oh, really? Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't know that. That's cool. Wow. Did you know, did, did, did you know that the shark in Finding Nemo was, was named Bruce after the mechanical shark in Jaws? Oh, I thought it was after Bruce Willis. Fuck me, dude. I didn't know that. <laughs> Bruce Willis? Wasn't even around in that time. <laughs> hadn't even made a movie yet. He hadn't even been born yet. <laughs> born yet? Bruce Willis hadn't even been born when Finding Nemo was conceived. <laughs> I'm, talking uh, about, I'm talking about Jaws. He hadn't made a movie. Well, I'm talking about Finding Nemo. Bruce Willis wasn't even around. What's the least amount of money you would take to cut off the tip of your pinky, like at the first knuckle? I'd have to cut it off myself? No, it just, it just has to be removed. $100,000. 100000 Yeah. Yeah, okay. I I, I think Actually, I, the same I take thing. that back. I do want to That's just like a an upper middle class year's worth of salary. Is yeah. that worth is that worth part of my body? A whole year's worth of salary you could stick in savings, can make a little make a little nest egg. It'd be nice, dude. It'd be nice to have. I'm not sure I would still surgically remove my pinky. You can you can be asleep for it. You don't have to be awake for the removal can of the Can I put pinky. like a little fake pinky tip on? Yeah, of course. Like it's like that little thing you can just put on like yeah, you can pop it on and off. There's no rule saying you can't do that. Then what the... Yeah, I'd do it. Okay. For $100,000. For $100,000.
I'd get it. I'd have to go under it. Like I'd have to anesthesia. Yeah. yeah. Anesthesia. How do you say that word? Have you ever gone under for anesthesia? I don't remember if I have. Yeah, it's pretty scary. I haven't done it. I don't want to. Why not? Cause it's like, what if you just don't wake up? And then you're dead, and then it doesn't matter. But I don't want to not wake up. It's scary. But you, but you won't be able to tell if you're not gonna be able to wake up or not. You'll be, you'll be asleep or dead. That's true. That is absolutely true. So it's like when you go to anesthesia, it's like I'll be better, or. Or dead. Or nothing. That's but you won't- but you won't know that you're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, but I don't want to go under knowing that I could not wake up. Well, that's the- that's the risk a lot of people take every day. Being an anesthesiologist is like a super extreme career because there's people like, that's their only job. EXTREME! Wow, We're gonna put you to sleep today, bro! I'm just getting my stitches in my leg. Fun fact! There's a 5% chance you won't wake up! What? Me, mommy, me! Puts the mask on you before you can, like, eject. <laughs> Whoa, doesn't this feel weird? Whoa! Countdown from a hundred, dude! Now you're going into the minefield? Yeah, I am, Oh, baby. someone copied something from Finding Nemo. Yeah, look at that, they got the fucking- Oh, wait, why do they float to me? Mines what? don't do that. Those mines float right to me, and I bet there's some sweet treasure down here, though. Fuck! Ugh. Oh, that was close. Ty almost got his ass blown up. Almost got his ass eaten out. By a big old mine. Okay, realistically, if you posted a picture of yourself on Craigslist, like your face and a picture of your asshole, and you said, looking to get my ass eaten out, how many, like, Pictures how, included. Yeah, like, how quick do you think you would get a response? Pretty quickly, just because there are weird people on Craigslist, and if it's not a person that actually wants to do that, it's gonna be, like, some serial killer or something that definitely is like, this person doesn't have any sort of, any sort of, uh, social skills. Yeah. Uh, they're obviously not safe on the internet and don't know how to use it correctly. Right. Do you so, uh, it, it would be easier to slit, you know, their, their calves. I'm gonna slit your calves, boy. <gasps> Her kids have wandered off, she can't find them, now it's up to us to find them. Are they inside the f did those big fish eat you? No, I gotta go find her. There's one, see? So, if you posted your face and your asshole on Craigslist, do you realistically think you could get a response in two hours? I'd say give it, like, twelve hours. Twelve hours? Could you get more than one response in 12 hours? Not more than one. Mm, I don't know, it's Los Angeles Craigslist. There's just a big market out there for m people wanting to eat out assholes of yeah, famous but Let's Players. What if, what if I don't want them to eat out my asshole? What if it's just this guy and I'm like, yeah, sorry, it, sorry, I'm looking for something that looks like a girl. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a girl, but if it at least looks like a girl, they can eat my ass out. Hey, hey that's just, it's all visual. Is this like a new thing? Because I didn't, I didn't hear songs in like the fucking <laughs> 80s or 90s talking about getting their asses eaten out. It's like no, I, I think the song. You know what song? It's like I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. That's probably yeah. about eating ass. You know what they uh, call it when they eat my asshole out? What do they call it? An uncrustable, because I keep it clean and delicious. Okay, I thought that was going somewhere else, but I'm very glad you took in the direction of clean and delicious. <laughs> Uncrustables. <laughs> Those are delicious. What are you interrupting well, me for? Well, except when they put it in the fridge and it gets kind of cold yeah. and then the peanut butter gets all stupid. Yeah, okay, so... I like the peanut butter creamy. Yeah, it's but gotta be But when they smooth. freeze it, it's like solid and gross. Exactly. And then, and then on the outsides, that you can see like the, uh, gets, the jelly... You can see the jelly bleeding from like inside. Yes. And then like, it, when they unfreeze them, the bread isn't soft and smooth anymore. It's not, it doesn't like melt it's just in your like mouth. stale. Yeah, it's just kind of crusty. So it essentially just becomes one big crust, defeating the whole purpose of an Uncrustable. I'd say one-fifth of the time at a school lunch, they were actually perfect. Yes, but the rest of the time they just sucked. And I don't even know how they messed that up, because they're already like pre-packaged sandwiches. Well, how it's because they'd get them fresh, they'd probably put them out, and then they'd start just freezing them or f refrigerating them. But those things on. last forever. Why would they need to freeze them? It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a- So they can make them last even longer. Do they keep them that long? I don't, I, I doubt it, I, because everyone gets them, like- I know, everyone got them, It's so just it's the like, go-to, uh, nothing's for lunch that I like today, let me just, uh, get an Uncrustable. It just made no sense why they would ever want to put them in the freezer. I had this guy that worked in my cafeteria in high school named Kevin. There was this tale of, uh, he was in the bathroom at the urinal once. And, uh, this kid I knew walked up, like, into the bathroom, and Kevin pointed in the urinal, and there was some cum in the urinal, and he went, Man, splooge! And then walked out. Why was there cum in the I urinal? I don't know, it might have been his. 
Someone had the. Why wouldn't you masturbate in the stalls? I don't know. That means if someone to, had to stand were, in the urinal and jerk off. If you were to masturbate in a public restroom, not saying I have, but you'd have to do one of the stalls for definitely. privacy. Yeah, oh, definitely. You gotta have privacy if you're gonna masturbate in a pub, public Privacy place. and just common decency. Unless, I mean, like, you're into the whole, you know, not private in a public place. Which, if you are, that's not very cool. Shouldn't do that, because there's other people around. Oh, haha! -ha. He is trying to eat you. You Damn said- it. you said they didn't. Should I go take this little bitch back to her mom? I'm gonna yeah. give myself a nice little thunder egg for this, Ryan. Where? Uh, when I- when I give the little kid back to the mom. You all- okay, you always hear those stories, it's like, Yeah, this kid drowned trying to find Bikini Bottom. It's like, is that true? Did that ever actually happen? I need to Snopes that. Can you look that up on Snopes or something? Like, did a kid ever actually- Cause when I was young, everyone was like, Yeah, a kid tried to find Bikini Bottom and died. It's like, I'm sure there was one kid out there, but, you know, you can't blame Spongebob for that. We'll blame Tom Kenny. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, Tom Kenny. I'm just Sponge kidding. Spongebob Squarepants Death Snopes claim a child drowned after jumping into the ocean to, to see Spongebob Squarepants. Status, false. Ha, so I can laugh at it because the kid didn't actually die. Tom Kenny, you're off the hook. I just want to say, Tom Kenny, if you're watching this, I love you so much and I hope you enjoy our Spongebob series. You're a sweet man. If you want to hold the camera for one of our vlogs, we're always looking for people to like just pitch in and help. Do some camera work, so.